Okay, so here we have the Victron and I've got this extension lead plugged in with a power meter and now I'm going to attempt to plug in this freezer which has a nominal power of about 80 watts. So first thing I do is switch the inverter on. Okay, green light, everything is okay. There's the power meter which I'm going to reset. Okay, now I'm going to try plug in the freezer. It's switched off. If we come to the back, we can see that the alarm is on, so it's been overloaded. So it's protecting itself now. It's trying again. 384 and 0. Right. So it's going to keep doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the freezer. Well, there it is again, it's trying again, and it's overloaded, so I'm going to unplug the freezer now. Alright, and if we just cycle through the menu, okay, let's just wait for this to switch on again. Looking through the menus, we can see the maximum power drawn before it shut down was 383 watts. That was the maximum power. Alright, so now I'm going to reset this. Okay, that's now all reset. Now I'm going to plug it into mains to see what the actual maximum is. Alright, so now we plug this into the mains. Alright, and I'm going to reset it again. And now we're going to plug in the freezer. Okay, so we see that we're using eighty something watts, ninety watts. So what was the Maximum power was 90, okay. So if I unplug this again. Just open that to make sure that it starts again. Alright, give that a moment. I'm going to plug in the freezer again. So, maximum power on startup was 527 watts with a five hundred and twenty-seven watts max. All right. So, according to the manual,
this 375 watt should be able to take up to 700 watts peak power and that's just not happening <laughs> 